On one hand, I get to be a robot. And on the other hand, I have boobs. How's it going everybody? Silver here and welcome back to some more Would You Rather. I'm going back to this. I missed all these random ass questions that really make get my mind thinking. Oh boy. But anyways though, I, I wanted to just say like, before I start this video I want to say thank you. You who's watching. Is my finger pointing towards the right? <laughs> I guess it is. You! You're amazing. You should be a, you should be amazing just by saying that I'm I mean but just by hearing that saying that you're amazing. <laughs> I'm really baffling myself up right now. Let's just play some would you rather, shall we? The first question already, would you rather date someone who's always wait, who always looks 12 or date someone who always looks 80? It uh, it goes to the fact of the matter that like there is that saying that like it doesn't you don't judge a person by their looks, judge them by their like characteristics and how they act towards people. Like if they act like a huge bitch, then don't date them. But if they're sweet as fuck, then yeah, like my, as as by all means date them. But um, I don't want to look like a pedophile here. But um, I guess this is sort of like a confession because uh, I guess I haven't asked her yet. But, um, uh, my childhood friend that I, that we knew since we were like five, I believe, um, we started talking a lot again and, uh, like, I really like her. And, um, this is actually a compliment. She actually looks, like, very young, even though she's close to my age. She looks very, she looks very young and very beautiful. So I'm gonna say that. Really? I went on that whole speech and it just gave me that upper hand and gave me like 92%. Holy shit. It's amazing though that over a hundred thousand people would still go out with someone that... But see, that's still what I mean. Don't judge by their looks. But anyways though, would you rather have a hundred and fifty dollars in quarters or have a hundred dollars in paper money? I mean, I can always like take that to the to the bank and deposit it. See, it's it's still more money, so that's not really a good question there. Okay, would you rather have an uncomfortable itch that attacks at sporadic times, or always have chapped lips? I mean, the majority of the time I always have chapped lips. You may not see it, but sometimes I do. It feels weird, but um. Those are some oddly different things. They don't really co-react with each other. Have an uncomfortable itch that attacks at corresponding times, or, or sporadic times, or have chapped lips. Always have chapped lips. I guess an itch, just cause like, I could always get rid of it. I get itches all the time. I live like in a muggy area. There's always mosquitoes and I keep getting mosquito bites. Zika virus, people. Stay, stay aware. <laughs> okay, next one. Would you rather chug a pint of ocean salt water, that's basically what ocean water is, well, the majority of it, yes, um, or chug a pint of rancid milk? I think I would say get super dehydrated, then get sick, so super dehydrated. Yes! Have I been getting the majority of all these so far? I think I have, which is good for me. This is really good. Okay, next one. If you died, would you rather have your brain transplanted into a robot or have your brain transplanted into the opposite sex? Oh, that is a big question. That is a really big question. I feel like I should move my mic here. I always keep finding different places to put my mic. I don't know why I'm stupid. But anyways, that is a very difficult question because on one hand, I get to be a robot. And on the other hand, I have boobs. So, I, I guess like if you transferred it into the opposite sex, it would still also mean that I would still be human. If I was a robot, I would be synthetic. Hardly anyone would treat me the same. It, it would feel very, very awkward. And like how would others around me think? 
I think they would still accept me even more. I mean, they, I bet they would accept me either way, but I think they would accept me either uh, even more if they knew that I was a, like, at least still human. So I would say opposite sex, because basically, like, if there are those skeptic people that, like, about like the robots taking over the world. So like, what if your friend got his brain transplanted into a robot? You'll you'll be just like, huh? You're gonna take over the world? But yeah, so I'm just gonna say opposite sex. Ah, I still keep on getting the the greater majority. That's good. Would you rather? Let's see if I could get like a high score here. Would you rather explode or implode? I would think that exploding is more painful than imploding. I, I guess I would say implode, just because less pain- Really? Well, I guess- I guess they would both be painful in a way. Damn it. Right when I say let's get a high score here, I lose my high score of getting the, the greater majority here. Okay. Would you rather only Brutal Metal or only Justin Bieber? I mean, I think I would rather listen to Slipknot than Justin Bieber, so... I don't know. On one hand, I'm getting screamed in the ear all the time, possibly getting the risk of having my ears bleeding, or just listening to Justin Bieber. That's already a bad thing in itself. I mean, the I would admit that he does have a couple of songs, but he overall, as a person, I don't like Justin Bieber. But if I had to choose, I would say something more calm. Really? You'd rather have people screaming in your ears than fucking... It's because I, I chose Justin Bieber just because his music is like a little bit more calm. I don't want loud ass music playing all the time. It's not right. It's not right. But anyways, would you rather... Oh god, again with Justin Bieber. Be married to Justin Bieber or be married to Harry Styles. Time to look up stuff. Oh, it's that one guy from One Direction. I, I would say Harry Styles just because Justin Bieber... We are all we all know what happened between him and Selena Gomez, so I'd say Harry Styles. People would agree. Ha! Sixty-nine percent. Ha! Funny. Anyways, though, next one. Would you rather vacation one summer in Gravity Falls, ooh, or enter one season of Total Drama Island but get third place? Now, what the hell's the point? It's that place is already like a humongous death trap. Why would you? Well, actually, it depends. Which total, which season of Total Drama Island? Because there's like what, like five, six, six seasons of Total Drama Island, and they're all pretty fucked up. I say, I would say Gravity Falls, and a lot of people would agree. I, because Gravity Falls, it's not like, it, it, from what I've seen in Gravity Falls, you and technically risking my life, but at least, like, it's all mythical and shit, and it's fucking awesome. As with Total Drama Island, I'll just be, like, risking my life and get third place after all that. Jesus. Okay. Would you rather fight a crocodile with a bow or fight an elephant with a shotgun? I would say a crocodile with a bow just because it's a slightly small... Well, not slightly. It's a smaller animal... And it doesn't have something that, like, gives me a guaranteed kill. <coughs> oh! I- I misread that! Yeah, I fight it with that weapon. Wow, oh god, I do not know how to use a bow. Can I change it? Can I? Please! Dang it. Oh well. Yeah, then I would've chose elephant with the shotgun. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, got a little cough. Would you rather only eat reheated leftovers for the rest of your life? Mm, that sort of sounds good. Or pay to eat out at restaurants for every meal for the rest of your life? And I would be in debt. I would be in huge debt. Fuck it, I'll say leftovers. Ugh, why? 
Why would you waste so much money? You're wasting so much money to eat food for the rest of your life. If you do that, then most likely you're gonna have to starve. Like, cause you would have to at least go out once a day. At least. God, that's... No. No. This should have been the right majority. I would rather have leftovers, I guess. I don't want to get fat from all the f fast food and dining food. Okay. Would you rather find $5 or have your local WNBA team win the championship? I mean, I don't... I don't watch basketball, so... Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people agree. <laughs> Oh my god, five dollars is worth more. I don't like- I don't watch basketball. What is this basketball? Okay. Would you rather open a can of whoop-ass on a fool or pity a fool? I know that's- I know this one's a Mr. T reference. I forgot who- who says this? Who says that? Uh, I'm- I'm about to open a can of whoop-ass on- Who- that does sound familiar, but I don't know who says that. I forgot, but of course I know I'm going to put I pity the fool. Really? Really, you wouldn't pity a fool? Come on. Mr. T, man. Mr. T all the way. It's cool. Okay. Would you rather have stinky feet or have long fingernails? I would say stinky feet, cause I could... Actually... No, I would say stinky feet, just cause I can mask that. I mean, it's somewhat close, but really? Really? God. It's like I was doing good at the beginning of this, and now I'm just uh, doing awful. Okay, final one. Would you rather play for the Red Sox or play for the Yankees? Okay, let's see None. if this one's actually a good final one. Would you rather... Light your hands on fire for a minute, or light your feet on fire for a minute. Oh, I mean, I have burned my hand once, but I'm getting a headache from my glasses. Um, I would say feet, just because your feet can actually handle more heat compared to your hands, because there's less there's thinner skin on your hands than there is on your feet. I know I'm try I'm not trying to sound too disgusting, but that's true from what I've like read and stuff back in high school. Your feet actually have more skin layers or it's thicker skin. So I guess it would handle the fire just a little bit more than your hands. So I'm going to say feet. And I'm correct. At least I got that one right. And anyways, though, that's it for this episode, I guess episode, of Would You Rather? I... I love doing this. I can't... Why haven't I been doing more of this? Because I got a bunch of other games that I gotta do. And work and stuff. But anyway, so again, thank you all so much for being awesome and watching this. If you liked it, don't forget to smack that subscribe button right outside the head just to show how much you care. And as always, I hope you all stay fresh, and I'll catch you next time. He's like, no. I said, um... Beanies, like the kinds you wear. Um, people who are on bath, bath salts. That's who I would call them. And one of, see, I see, look, one of them is itching its neck. It's just begging for them bath salts. Well, again, it, okay, um, uh, yep, that's where I've always gotten that quote from.